Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting New Jersey Funeral Doom Legends, Evokin's 1999 debut record, Quietus, reissued on Peaceville Records in 2014. So heavy, so fucking good. Awesome artwork by Steve O'Malley. Well, this collage of stuff is just really cool, and I love this fucking, like, just, I don't know, that's so sick to me. It's one of my favorite art pieces on this, uh, collage of doom here. But this is an East Coast funeral doom essential listen right here. It's so fucking good. And speaking of doom and fucking good, I want to first off thank Tim at Parasitic Records for sending this awesome wear goat hoodie in perfect shape with the artwork to Pestennial Rites of Infernal Fornication on the back. My mom was real stoked on the uh, artwork. I was like, you saw the poster before? She's like, I'm, I don't want to be seen with you with that. That that That's disgusting. <laughs> I was like, Satan needs, you know, the wear goat needs women too. And she's like, you're an asshole. <laughs> oh. I'm like, I, I can't help it. I'm sorry. I love wear goat. It's like one of my favorite bands. And Tim Call is one of my favorite dudes in the extreme metal underground. So... I want to support everything the dude does. He did not need to throw this CD into my package, but he's a nice guy, and he fucking did. So now I have the self-titled amazing debut from Sepiternal Dusk, and I know I butchered that title, but holy shit, this right here, I've listened to it multiple times digitally. And I need to pick up the vinyl, but this was an awesome gift from Tim. And holy shit, is this an awesome, awesome fucking debut album. There's one track on here that's like a minute and 27 seconds. It's pretty much an outro. And outside of that, most of your songs are around the 10 minute range. And oh my fucking god. Anytime you get five tracks in like around 45 minutes, hell yeah, you know, you're in for some killer stuff. And on here, you mostly have just this like, you know, kind of just like Black Death vibe, but just completely drenched in this Doom vibe. And it just creates this amazing, amazing piece of music right here. You see, no one's going to help you, which is actually a sample that starts things off on here, and it's a sample that can be taken many, many ways, but nobody's going to help you from the fucking oppression that this listen will bring to you, seriously. As soon as Moon Beneath the Hook Cross starts, yeah, you're going to be fucking legitimately hooked, and... You have Streams of Night, Upon the Gallows of Perillion, Seclusion of the Bereaved, and Urn of Dawn. Again, this is one of those albums that just came at, you know, a perfect time in my life. I'm dealing with a loss that I still have not come to grips with. As much bullshit as I might talk about it and, you know, act like everything's fine it's really not like my dad's not downstairs and the reality of it should have hit in by now and today's my birthday yeah I'm 30 fucking three and uh, yeah I kind of don't want to talk about it on here because it is you know very very personal but I'll put it this way thank you Tim and uh, Sepernial Dusk and the self-titled release on Dark Descent Records because I know the more and more I spin this, the more it's going to help with my current situation and coming to terms with 
losing my father because it still feels like I'm in some kind of bad fucking dream and for Tim to send, you know, this fucking slab of death doom with this awesome, like, blackened edge to it is just probably one of the better, you know, gifts that I could get right now because it really, really just hit me where it needed to right here, like, when I was listening to it and reading the lyrics and stuff, like, especially, like, like I said, it's just one of those albums, like, Moon Behind Hoof, I meant, Hook Cross, it's just, wow. Like, gray funeral fog under mist of blue and silver, fading dimming lights of natural horror, horror, seal of iron, ritual dawn, apocalyptic last stand, treading wake in silent glass. Yeah. Really, really serious shit. I love the art direction on here as well. Great, great stuff. And the cover art on here is by Ann O'Neill. I just fucking love it. Very, very simple. Pretty much sums up, you know, the whole entire album right here. Like, you're getting this killer death metal that's doom-laced. And alongside this, like, really creepy sick side of blackened heaviness and it all works out and it's fucking great like the vibrations of blackened proportions on here are fucking sick like the riffs oh my god so fucking good the vocal delivery again so fucking good the riffs everything especially the drumming but that's what happens when you get members of Weregoat, Nightfell, Aldibon, Warwolves, The Howling Wind, Ritual Necromancy. Fucking wow, again. They had two splits come out as well in 2017. I heard the Encoffination one, which, holy shit, is it fucking good. If you really want to check this band out, and uh, you want more than just the full length right here. Those two splits they put out this year, especially the one with Encoffination, has your name written all fucking over it. So goddamn good. But yeah, when you have members from fucking Weregoat and Nightfell and shit, like, you know you're getting into some good, good stuff. And my favorite track on here has to be moon beneath hook cross it's just so fucking good alongside like streams of night which has this amazing amazing semi vastum autopsy sounding riff around like a minute and 30 in which is just so fucking good and grabs your attention and you know drags you right down to hail death alongside the rest of SD and fucking awesome hymns of death and doom right here. I can't wait for another full length from these guys. Like I said, those two splits were amazing, but another full length? Fuck yeah, I understand. These dudes are busy as fuck. I mean, there's a new Ritual Necromancy dropping this year, so definitely looking forward to that. The new Weregoat was absolutely amazing. I really, really have my fingers crossed for a new night fell. I was listening to Darkness Evermore yesterday and just forgot how fucking good it was. But Sepiternal Dusk, self titled on Dark Descent Records. This is some pure fucking fire. And uh, an awesome gift from Tim at Parasitic Records. And something I need to snag on vinyl because I could see myself spinning this for a very, very long time. Awesome artwork. Kind of has a disembowelment vibe to it. I like it. Especially with the font and stuff. It's fucking sick. Definitely. Like, whoever did the art direction, I'm not sure if it's the same woman that did the cover art. Um, okay, the collage is actually done by Tim and uh, Jay Stubbs. 
Fucking A. Photos by Tim Call. Hell yeah. Tim's a fucking man. Where'd you get these skull photos at if you see this, Tim? Or I'll just... I'll hit you up on Messenger or something. Because this shit is sick. And this collage is awesome. That's what I mean. I love the fact that the whole Portland and, like, Oakland scene stick to, like, the DIY, like, punk crust ethics and stuff when it comes to putting out a lot of their releases and shit like you'll notice stuff like this i mean this is just an example I've, i showed this yesterday as well the way extremely rotten does it dark descent does it too hell's headbangers nuclear war now but getting just like postcards of upcoming releases and i really really just love the diy kind of you know, cut and paste collage deal a little bit more than I like the fancy, like, here's an old relapse one from 2004, because Mastodon Leviathan and Miss Machine are on here. And I don't think the new Nile had came out yet. No. And this is when they still had the amazing retail store. But, um, yeah. You used to have to, you know, kind of rely on these colorful, you know, things. I kind of like getting the black and white and, you know, just real, just fucking DIY, crusty, just influence when it comes to, uh, you know, collages and stuff like that, especially promo stuff. But the art direction on here, A fucking plus, man. Tim just rules. That's one of those dudes I feel can do, like, no wrong. Every band he's in is fucking great. I feel like everything he touches is fucking golden. And he's just one of those dudes that can just be in every style of band and, you know, hit the fucking nail in the Christ wrist every time. It's great. And Septenarial, Dusk, fucking, you know, bring the heaviness on this death doom slab of awesomeness again i really really need to snag this on vinyl because i'm in love with it at the moment and my cd player fucking sucks but still wow wow and wow all five of these tracks are just complete and utter a plus material and i know people have been saying What's with all the A-plus shit? Like, I don't really want to review dog shit records, but hey, if I pick up something that I think's going to be badass and it sucks, I'll let you guys know. But this was an awesome gift that came at an awesome time with an album I already was in love with, but just didn't own physically and couldn't share with you guys until now. So, hails to Tim at Parasitic Records, and... Pick this up on Dark Descent. This is so fucking good. Seriously. And, uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. We've been blasting some Evoking Quietus. Their 1999 debut record. So fucking good. Hails to Pat Hopkins for this gift. It's crazy. I'm 33 years old. Absolutely insane. Smoke weed, live forever. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't do drugs. Hails. Just smoke weed.